week I asked this question, and uh, I told you guys to answer it. I want to see who can do it. What are the four major championships in golf? Nicholas had his hand raised first. Let me have it, Nicholas. Uh, I think uh, the Masters. Masters is one. I got one. Okay. Who else knows one of the four major championships? U.S. Open. U.S. Open. There's two. The British Open. The British Open. British Open That's is three. Never mind. The PGA Championship. The PGA Championship. Oh, okay, that's good. Very good. So we got all four there. Excellent job there. So now we're going to go back real quick. Quick question. How do we get more confidence in our abilities to play this game? Anybody? How are we going to get practice. more confidence? We're going to practice. Oh, that's so good. We're going to practice, and it's important that we practice, practice, practice. Now, good sportsmanship. Can somebody give me an example of um, showing good sportsmanship? We got a lot of hands raised. Let's see here. Who? Uh, Stevens. Um, like helping your if your teammates are not are feeling bad, you can help cheer them up. Boom! Good answer. Okay. We also, uh, Connor has his hand raised. All right, Connor, hit me with a good one. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Um, shake hands with the person at the end. Yes, great answer. Definitely shake hands. Say good game. Enjoy playing golf with you today. Hope we can do it again sometime soon. That's definitely a good way. So, perseverance. Somebody give me a definition of perseverance. Uh, uh, Rowan's got his hand up. Rowan. Um. Um. Per, um. Is to never give up. Perseverance is never giving up. Never okay. Up. Really, really, really good. Now, yes, we've got a challenge oh, no, we out got there. Got one more, Coach oh, B. We got one more. Oh, hit me with it. Um. Mr. Wakefield. Yes. Did you have an answer for that one? Oh, we didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, real quick, everybody. We have a challenge out there for all of my first tee people, and it's called the Plank Challenge. We want to see who can hold a plank the longest. So real quick, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to give you a little demonstration of the plank. Now, get down on our elbows here. Real important that we get a good straight line here. Now, I don't want your knees sagging down. I don't want your hips way up in the air. We're going to see who can hold a plank the longest like this. Now, this really works on your stomach muscles, helps your core, helps keep your back nice and healthy. Um, but we want to see who can keep the plank the longest. Now, you can do a plank on your elbows. Some people will do planks like this, but make sure it's a good straight line. I can see it. If you're up in the air like this or you're way down here like this, that's not a good plank. So we want to make sure we're holding a good plank here as long as we possibly can. So we've got the plank challenge out there. <clears throat> want to see who can do that the absolute longest. Now, one of the things we want you to do, especially since you're going to be at home for a little bit, is try to get creative. Find some way to play some form of golf. You may come up with a brand new form of golf in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Who knows? 
but try to find something that you can use to advance an object towards a target. So that's what the old shepherds did in Scotland. They advanced an object, which was a rock, with the staff that they used to herd the sheep with towards a target, which was the rabbit hole. So they came up with a game. So I'm challenging you guys out there as well to come up with a game some form or fashion where you're advancing an object towards a target. It could be a balled up piece of paper. It could be a sock. It could be a ball, a wiffle ball, a baseball, a basketball, you name it. Find a way to get a ball in the hole or at the target in some way. So get you active, get your mind creative. Um, we've had the putt-putt challenge already, um, building your own little uh, uh, putt-putt course throughout your house. Um, like I did today, we use shoestrings to make tic-tac-toe boards, to make uh, circles. You could almost do sort of a uh, ski ball type of thing where you're trying to get it in different points. Um, but find somebody to challenge in the house uh, to, to play some sort of a game. That way, once again, you're staying active, you're working on your skills, and you're getting to be a better golfer. Um, so far, let's see, we've had three weeks of this so far. We've covered six of the nine core values. That's pretty good. Now, we're going to have kind of a super test here towards the end of this season to see who knows all those core values. And if you can know all those core values, that's pretty awesome because you're going to be using those for the rest of your lives. For the rest of your lives, holy cow, that's a long time. Most of you are somewhere between the ages of five and eight. So, I mean, that could be upwards of 80, 90 more years that you get to use those nine core values. That's pretty cool. So, Make sure that we understand all those, make sure we're learning them. So, so far we've gone over respect, responsibility, honesty, courtesy, perseverance, and confidence. That's seven. That means we've only got, oh, that's six, that's six. I, I've got an extra finger in there somewhere, see? So, we've gone through six, we've got uh, a few more to go. Does anybody have any questions for me right now? Uh, Connor has a question. Go ahead, Connor. Hit me with a good question. All right, Connor, go for practice it. Practice a lot. We should break. Practice a lot. Sorry, I couldn't hear. Wait. You should practice a lot. Yeah, practice a lot. Well, Practice as much as you can. Right now, you guys are still pretty young, so practice and just have fun. Um, I'm not saying you need to go out there and practice for 18 hours a day because that's, uh, you know, that's a little crazy there. But what you want to do is make sure you go out, uh, create a bunch of games for yourself, have fun when you go practice right now because at this point in time in your life, the most important thing is having fun. You, you, getting super serious right now, but at, at your age right now is is, is – that, that's, that's a little too early. So just have fun with it. Go out and enjoy the game of golf because it, it's a game. And you're supposed to have fun when you play a game. And to me, golf is one of the greatest games out there that you get to play for the rest of your life, but you need to have fun with it. If you're getting mad and upset, that's not much fun for a game, is it? So make sure you're having fun. Stay out there. If, you're not, if you go, okay, I'm kind of getting tired now, go on home. Go get some ice cream. Go eat some apples or something. I don't know, whatever you're going to do. But, but make sure, um, don't wear yourself out getting crazy with it right there. But just have a good time. Have fun. Uh, enjoy yourself. And make up as many games as possible when you're out there practicing. That way it's more fun to be at the golf course. Uh, Nicholas has a question. Go for it, Nicholas. You can focus. Say that one more time. Focus. Focus. Keeping your focus. Keeping your focus. So, how do you keep your focus, Nicholas? Um, by um, by hitting the ball to the hole. Okay, hit the ball to the hole. Have a target in mind, so you kind of get more focused that way. So, if you, you know, like I said, if you're at home, if you're uh, you know, putting on your carpet, pick pick a, a dime. Put a dime on the ground and see if you can roll the ball over a dime. you got to be super focused on that dime to be able to get it. Another good thing you could do is you could take uh, a, a marker and put a tiny little dot on the ball. 
and focus on that dot and try to, when you hit the ball with a putter, or if you're outside and swinging a club, um, put that little dot and try to hit that dot on the ball. So that means you got to be super focused. Can't be looking around and hit this tiny little dot on the ball. So that's another way to stay focused. Um, one of the important ways of being focused out there is make sure that you're eating good, healthy snacks because that fuels your body to keep your mind sharp. If you're not eating good, healthy foods and stuff, it's hard for your mind to stay really focused in on stuff and, and have that super sharp focus so you can uh, perform at a high level. Uh, Stacy Hunter's got a question. What? Uh, what were the words of the day for um, every golf lesson? For every golf lesson that we've had so far, we've had respect, responsibility, courtesy, honesty, sportsmanship. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. Uh, perseverance and confidence. Sportsmanship's next week. Jump the gun. So we've All had right. Does anybody else have any questions? Ava, do you have a question? All righty. Okay, so, so once again, I want you guys to make sure you're coming up with fun activities to do when you're at home. Think of different things to do. Get outside. Um, whatever it is, object, a ball, a target, get outside, be active, enjoy the sunshine today. Uh, but make sure that you are building your confidence and you don't give up when things get tough, okay? So keep trying, keep working hard, and we'll see you guys again next week.